crash in San Francisco yesterday. ABC 7 News reporter Kate Larson here now with exclusive new video. Kate? Well, Larry Alma, this is the dash cam video, and you're going to see that Tesla speed through the intersection in a moment. Police say the car was driving about 45 miles per hour, well above the posted speed limit of 25 to 30. Now, the dash cam video shows the speed, but it also shows what one of the victims did to protect their spouse. We pause the video right before they were hit. Only on ABC 7. This is video from an Uber dash cam around 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon. The cars are all moving slowly, at least relative to this, a Tesla speeding up Taylor Street through a red light at O'Farrell. It takes one second for the Tesla to broadside a Mini Cooper and then hit a couple who were in the crosswalk. Look closely and you can see Kelly Dean saw the Tesla coming, stopped, and threw her arm across her husband before the Tesla hit them both, throwing them into the air. She was incoherent, uh, gurgling noises. She was on her stomach. Bob Navarro ran to help the couple and stayed with Kelly, who was unresponsive. I could see a lot of blood coming from her head. So we just kept talking to her, talking to her. Kelly's husband, 39-year-old Benjamin Dean, was killed. The couple from the Fresno area were in San Francisco celebrating their wedding anniversary. The driver of the rented Tesla, 21-year-old Kelsey Cambridge of Vallejo, was arrested Sunday and booked for involuntary vehicular manslaughter. Pedestrian fatalities are way up this year, and most of those are here in this neighborhood. Sunday's deadly wreck happened in the Tenderloin, the heart of San Francisco Supervisor Matt Haney's district, and the city's high injury network, indicated by the red lines on this map. We are in a crisis, we are in a state of emergency, and it's time that the city recognize that. And speed is the number one killer. Jody Medeiros runs Walk San Francisco, a pedestrian advocacy organization. She wants new policy that slows down drivers. Street design changes and re-engineering to really impact how people are driving in our city. So Supervisor Haney tells him that he'd like to do things like narrow streets, eliminate lanes, and add enforcement cameras. He will be at a rally tomorrow morning at City Hall organized by Walk San Francisco to call for a state of emergency of pedestrian safety. Meanwhile, Kelly Dean is at San Francisco General Hospital tonight in critical condition, I'm told, with family by her side. Back to you.